see it's a top-down kind of day if you got a convertible sun is shining blue skies and lots of lucky cards now oh, let's see oh look at you beautiful little fish back here not a super high quality one. Oh, and he's broken so you can't be low quality and broken and $7.99 that is three strikes against you buddy oh look it is now green tagged <laughs> It's, I was gonna say good morning, but this video doesn't come out in the morning, so that would sound silly. But it is a good morning here in Vegas. I mean, you can see the sun is shining and I'm getting to Goodwill in the morning, which I never usually do. Uh, so I am gonna go in and see what goodies I can find. But first, I just wanna give a super huge thank you to all of you who left a comment on yesterday's video. I've read every single one of them and will continue to read every single one of them. I may not be able to respond to them all, but if you see the little heart, that means I read your comment and I appreciate each and every comment that I get. They truly do lift my spirits and help me get through tough stuff that I'm going through. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so we're going to get into Goodwill. Let's go see if this Goodwill is loaded with goodies like the last couple have been. Who knows? We don't know until we get in there, right? So let's get shop done. See, it's a top-down kind of day. If you got a convertible, sun is shining, blue skies, and lots of lucky carts. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know why, but this one right here is calling to me. So, oh, wait, we go. Ooh, this might actually be my lucky card from last time, too. And the blue tags are our 50% off color. All right, let's make our way over. Usually they bring out some new cards in the morning. And I do see that they brought out some new stuff. So we're going to head straight to the shelves and see what they brought out. I see some depression glass. Look at that. Right off the bat, we've got some pieces of depression glass. Now, these don't have a super high resale value. Uh, so I am not one to pay, you know, three, four dollars a piece for something like this. I'd, I mean, if they were like 99 cents, maybe even a dollar 99, I might pick them up. Let's see, Mikasa Cadence piece. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at you, beautiful. $4.99 for the little cockatoo. And he's not shipped or anything. Okay, he will be added to my bird collection. It's an interesting little stoneware pottery bowl. It is signed. It's kind of plain, though. This would make a really good baby tortoise soaking bowl, I might say. Anybody who has baby tortoises, nice little shallow bowls like this work really good. All right, let's look on the little mishy mashy, nicky nacky shelf here. We've got a little bunny who is sadly made out of real bunny fur. That does not excite me. Horse, yeah, it's just not super. Exciting. Let's see what we got down here. Hmm. I don't see anything. We do have a bunch of these kitty cats for $3.99 each. There was some similar kitty cats at the other store. Are these Priscilla Hillman or are they something else? Let's try to get a peek here. Can't see what they are. Ugh. Okay, I need two hands to put this back together. All right, I put the tag back on so somebody can see the price. This one's broken too. Oh, it is Priscilla Hillman. I guess I could have just picked up another piece. They don't sell for a whole bunch. Maybe like 10 to $12 a piece is all. 
I mean, we are in a time when knickknacks and figurines are becoming less and less desirable. There's fewer and fewer people collecting. I do like these Hallmark bird planters, though. And let's see, they are, is it Margolin? Beaten? I'll look that up when I get home. Um, but they've got the little drainage on the bottom, which is really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the little birdie planters. Let's see. Oh, just what everybody needs is a, uh, a pooping rain reindeer dog. Yeah. Mm. Got some party light candle holders. Got a little United States Army life symbols hand painted 2007 it's kind of cool it's kind of cool i do like that i'm gonna pick that up for four bucks i also really like this nest i'm thinking what i could do with it not for resale but what could i do with that because i do have a lot of bird items and i like putting some different heights in there. So I think I'm gonna grab that too. Ooh, do these look familiar? I had a lot of people upset with me that I did not pick up the cups that went with that tea set. So guess what? I'm gonna do it. It's more than I would like to be paying for them, but I can see the value in keeping this set together. So together it will stay and I will pick up the little teacups. Had I been on the ball, I would have come on Wednesday, which would, they would have been 40% off, but I could not get here on Wednesday. That's just how my life flows now. I have to be super flexible with when I can go do things and take the opportunities when they come. Winter scenes. Oh, let's see. Candles, candles, candles. A little fish back here. Not a super high quality one. Oh, and he's broken. So you can't be low quality and broken and $7.99. That is three strikes against you, buddy. And let's see. He has a bit of a Jim Shore look, but he doesn't have Jim Shore quality to him, so it's just kind of a knockoff. Had he been Jim Shore, even though he's Easter, I would have picked him up. But not being Jim Shore, I don't want to pick him up and store something that's going to sell on the low end. These are kind of cute. Now, I normally don't pick up bells, but the Southwest theme of these is pretty nice. Is that T-O-W-E? Is that what you see? or L-O-W-E. It's one or the other. And then this one, this one is different. It's just got like some succulents on it. Not a price, but I suspect it would be the same as these for $2.99 each. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get them. All right, I don't see anything else here. Catching my eye. Ah, this guy made me look twice, so I'm just gonna take a peek. Yeah, I mean, if it had been Christmas time, I probably would pick him up because he's musical and he's fun and he's a snowman, but no, I'm going to leave him today. Oh, I see some little robins, salt and peppers. Who makes you? It's very, very tiny print, but I can see it's 1990 something. So they are vintage and we're going to put those in the cart. It's a really nice love sign. I like it. Goodness, that's a pretty shelf. I think it's just made to look old. It's not actually old. It's $5.99. I mean, it's not new, new, but it's not like antique old. It's cool. But I'm going to leave that for today. What is this little guy? A little shelf to hold something. Look at this. It's got a little punched tin inset in there, but that drawer sure doesn't go fit right. Pine Valley Lodge, and it's all cracked. That's a shame. That would have been cute if it was in good shape, but it's not. 
sometimes it is hard to leave some things behind. Now, I've talked about this before, but I pick these up for different purposes than napkin holders. But I think these are actually on the older side. So I may look them up before I just uh, disregard the fact that they could be napkin holders. It's $3.99 and there are four, eight, 12 of them in there. That's awesome. Okay. Cute little planters. Ooh, that's got, oh, that's a lid. That's a lid to something. I wish the rest of the box was here because that's all inlaid shell. Maybe it is. We'll be on the hunt. We'll look for it. Smiling is good for the soul. I agree. La ferme. Is that how you say rooster in French, maybe? Hmm. Nice little jewelry box with a tapestry made in Japan. It's $5.99. I kind of like that. You know what? I do like that. And I think what I'm going to do is put the items that I'm purchasing today into my Friday Whatnot sale. Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, head on over to Whatnot. I have a link in the very first comment of this video. I know, sometimes it gets a little buried in the description. So it's in both places, it's in the description too. But I put it in that first comment and I pin that comment so it's right up on top and easy to find. But come over, if you have never signed up for Whatnot, it'll give you $15 to come and spend. If you're already on Whatnot, come on over and join in the fun and the chat and all that good stuff. Oh, dreidels, still here. Because we will have a blast. I will be selling the things that I find today and some of the things that I have found over the last few weeks that you may have seen me purchase. And uh, of course, I always can take requests. If uh, you see my whatnot sale not getting populated with something, just reach out to me and email. Email's best. And then I can either get that into the sale or sell it to you directly. That's an interesting little wall sculpture. It's got the possibilities of being something pretty good, but the way it is designed shows that it's more of a mass marketed piece. The, just the quality of the application of the color and such. I mean, it's a cool piece, don't get me wrong, but it's not like a Curtis Gere or anything like that. And then I do see something up top here that's pretty cool. This is a old uh, coal scuttle. It's got the porcelain handles. But this one is cracked. Ooh, it's cracked bad too. They're asking $12.99, which probably still isn't a bad price. Um, but it's a bigger item that I would need to sell out of my booth space at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. And I just don't think I have the local market for that piece. So I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. It's a cool find though. Not something you normally find at Goodwill. We have a dog bone. Actually, these are, this is, was made to be a dog treat. I used to give those to my big Rottweiler, Xena, all the time. She loved them. She could sit there for hours and just chew on one of those horns. Antlers. Actually, that's an antler, not a horn. There is a difference. There is a difference. Okay. Oh, look. It is now green tagged at $25. So we're getting there. We're getting there. At some point it's going to go down to a dollar and they're going to get that sold if nobody gets it before then. You know, you can't blame them for trying. You can't. This is a business they're running and their their main duty is to make as much money for their mission as they can. So I never fault them for that. Uh, but I can tell you, I'm, I'm super pleased to see that they went back and repriced it so that it doesn't end up at the bins. That's what I worry about is if you price it too high and it doesn't sell and then it ends up at the bins and then it's broken and ends up in the landfill and that's not good. So that, that does my heart good that it got repriced and it's definitely going to find a home. That will not 
go to the bins. Mas Mastro Vetris made in Italy. Interesting, interesting. It looks a lot like the Italian pottery. This is glass, but they're making it look like the uh, Batosis uh, and such of the mid-century. It's in really good condition. It's $7.99. I'm grabbing it. I don't know anything about it, but it's super cool. And super cool usually sells no matter what the name on it is. I'm wondering what was in here because somebody's taken it out. Dot Snappers Kit. Hmm. I don't know what a Dot Snappers Kit is. All right. Interesting piece of big, heavy glass. It's got some manufacturing defects in it. Looks like something you'd get like at home goods and such. Does not have an old feel to it. Well, that could be a whale of a find. He's a little jar. He was, yeah, he was distributed at Target. He is $7.99. So I, my guess is he's worth $15 to $20. So we can't pay $7.99, so we're gonna leave him. Look through the plastics here and see if there's anything exciting. I am not seeing anything. All right, we are over in the coffee mugs. These are Starbucks, little red striped. I really like these, not because they're Starbucks. I just really like the look of these mugs, they'd make cute little decorations. I wish they weren't $4.99 red tag. Mmm, decisions, decisions. I might look these up. Okay, looked up. They're about a $10 mug over on Whatnot, so we definitely can't pay 5 and sell it for 10 And people go, but there's money, that, like that's a margin, like it's not enough because you've got to pay fees. You've got to pay shipping materials. You've got to pay for your time. So that is not a big enough margin to make a living at this game. All right, I don't see anything else exciting on this shelf. All right, we've got more mugs. Love is good. We kind of have a love theme going. I like it. Chicago. This little photo Chicago mugs. Oh, this says Mickey Mouse. And it's like a Mickey Mouse. Oh, I guess it is Mickey Mouse in there. Again, most of these Disney ones are so saturated on the market, too, that there's just not enough of a, a margin to spend $5 to sell them for 10 to 12. Now, if you can pick them up for a buck and sell it for 10 to 12, that's good. That's a Williams Sonoma. Look at that beautiful interior. I wish there were at least two of these, though. I would want to sell those in a pair. So I'm going to leave it. All right, over here in the glasses, these are calling to me. Somebody made these out of a uh, Patron tequila bottle. See, the, the bottle's been cut to make a glass, which is pretty clever, pretty cool, but I'm not sure there is much resale value in that. And I don't see any other glasses really calling me there. Let's look over here. Hmm. You guys told me that they were selling these at the dollar store, which makes sense. They don't seem super high quality, they, but they are pretty, they are super pretty. And don't just say because it's at the dollar store, it doesn't have any resale value because I can tell you, a lot of people make a healthy living buying things at the dollar store and flipping them, especially on places like Amazon, because not everybody has a dollar store and not everybody wants to go to dollar store. So they're willing to pay a little more for it to find it in other places. All right, let's take a peek over here on the cart and see what hasn't been put out. Little teacup and saucer. Let's see if it says who makes this on the little plates. Nope. Also not marked. Interesting. 
interesting mug. It's missing its emblem. 2003, not as old as it looked. Hmm, yeah, nothing super exciting on this cart. All right, we got some cookware over here. Let's see if anything sparks interest. That's kind of a cool wood ladle. Why do I like that? I just do. I like it. I like it. I like it. Is there anything else I like? Oh, no, you look newer. Cook lover, made to look like the old stuff, but it's not, but it's not. <laughs> Caught it. Cook lover, yeah. Normally they're taped on. See, that one's taped on, so my brain thought that this one was taped on too, but it's not. Interesting. Ah, I'll have to see if cook lover is uh, anything decent. All right, we're back over here in the dishes. It's been a little crowded this morning. I think that's one of the reasons I don't tend to come to Goodwill in the morning is because there's a lot of people here in the morning and I'm not a big crowd person. These look like they are depression glass in a yellow. It's $2.99. They are divided dishes. I do see quite a bit of chipping along the edges there though. Or is it? You know, that might just be a depression glass rough unfinished edge, which they are known to do. No, nope, that's definitely a chip. Okay. I was kind of holding hope there for a moment, but was not to be, was not to be. And let's see if there's anything exciting in the bowls. Mm, nope. Don't see anything. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's still here. I know there are some resellers buying it because I'm seeing it showing up in uh, some of the spaces that I have gone to. <laughs> I hope it sells. I hope everybody sells all of it. It's just not for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, Todd, I Todd, Pooty Chat. I feel like he's worth $12.99, unless he's got that. Um, big old, big old break in his hat. That is too bad. We totally would have picked up a Tweety Bird cookie jar because people love Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird's the underdog. I think that's why people love him. Like he outsmarts the cat every time. And I just think that so many people think that that's such a cool thing. That's vintage, but not worth a whole bunch. Be something. It says be true. Be true. I like that. I don't know what that name is under there. I don't think it's super high and I think it's like maybe 10 to 12 but I do like it so I'm gonna get it. And of course if you want to know what all of this stuff is worth that I'm buying just stay tuned at the end of my shopping I do a recap and I tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. $2.99 and $3.99. Those are super adorable, but very cheap quality and already chipped. All right, let's head down the mishmash section here and see Peaceful Paisley's 31 Stress Relieving Designs. See, this is not this is not stress relieving for me. That would cause me stress. There's too many lines to stay in on that one. No can do. No can do. I prefer the ones that are like animals and flowers. All right, and nothing in the bathroom goodies. What's that? It's a little square thing full of like epoxy rocks. There you go. Hmm. What are you? Don't know. Don't know. Oh. This is the sporting goods and pet supply section, which you never know what's going to get like mixed in over here. So you got to look. You got to give it a once through. 
but there's nothing today. All right, looking at the lamp section now, seeing what's over here. Mm, nothing super exciting me today. I think I'm going to get a bunch of lamps put up over on my Cherish account because that is the best place to sell a lamp. Let's look through the art just a little bit. Oh, and I'll give a little tease. I have something super exciting happening next Tuesday. I probably, just to give you a little hint what it is, I probably will put that footage over on my Niche Lady Critter Cam channel because it, yes, it's animal related. So if you're not already subscribed over there, I would really appreciate giving it a look. It's, I've only got, I've only got a few videos up so far, uh, but it is where the live cams are gonna go as soon as we meet the requirements that YouTube requires. So if you could help me with that, I would greatly appreciate it. I will put a link also down in that first comment of the video. That seems to be the best place for me to put stuff for you guys to find. I am coming back to this. Once upon a time, there was a girl who really wanted to become a nurse and loved horses. It was me, the end. That is a very, very personal um, sentiment there, but it's a really beautiful print. Hmm. I think animal people tend to be nurturing people. They tend to be people who want to do good in the world. Let's see what you are. Bloom where you are planted. Hmm. All right, nothing that I need today. And uh, we will, I do. I always look through the big art, but it's gotta be something really, really spectacular for me to buy the big art. Ooh, that's kind of cool though. <laughs> Wood chart. It's a cut out like three dimensional wood map. Just trying to Portsmouth, Virginia Beach. So it's like, it's Virginia, right? Is it all Virginia? That's really cool. Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, Virginia. That's really cool. They're asking 35. But that's just, that's really cool. Yeah, and they still have the piano, tables. Mm, I don't see anything super exciting for me today. Except maybe this. So this would hold art. Like, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It would hold art. Is it two-sided? <gasps> Is it two-sided? <gasps> it's two-sided. It can go out in the middle of a room for 25 bucks. I think I need this. I think I need this for 25 bucks. I will take this little coupony thing here and we will go buy this. And they've got a few more pieces up here in the middle of the aisle, but again, nothing we need. And just to show those of you who love for me to shop the textiles, there's really not a whole lot of textiles to shop. They're very, very wiped out. So I suspect they need more donations of linens and textiles to fill up this space. And the pillows, I don't really see anything. There's an older latch hook, but he's not really calling me. Yeah, there's just not much here in the pillows either head over to the toys and see what we can find. Greedy Granny? What? <laughs> what? It's empty. Somebody has stolen Greedy Granny there. Oh, but that's funny. Bath and Body Works bear. Hmm. I see a frog that is interesting. Who makes you? The Book of Mormon? The Book of Mormon makes a frog? Okay, all right. Uh, I don't quite understand that, but okay. And I don't see anything else. Oh, 
goodness. No toys today, I don't think. Perchance 2561. Oh, he's a Golden Knights elephant. Very cute. Our Golden Knights are doing good. They're doing really good. All right, nothing else in the toys. So a lot of people question, why do I look in toys? Why do I look in purses? If my niche is like the vintage and the collectibles and the antiques, what am I doing over there? Well, it's because when you have a vintage collectible antiques niche, you are not just like narrowed down to certain things. You're narrowed down to a clientele. That's what a niche is. And so I look in every single department for things that would appeal to the people that come to my sales, come to my eBay store, come to my Cherish. Uh, and technically, I have a little bit different niche in each one of those places, just based on my customer base. So um, I know most people, when they hear the word niche, they think it's a really tight, tight thing. It doesn't have to be a really tight, tight thing. It can be a really tight, tight thing. There are really tight, tight niches. Dol Dolce and Gabbana, do you think it really is? It does not feel very good quality. Um, but that's why I look everywhere. Plus things get misplaced. They get put in different sections of the store. So there's that too. I now do a purse and jewelry sale on Wednesdays over on Whatnot. So I always look at purses and jewelry now because now I have a very, very specific niche on that day on that venue. See what we've got here. Who are you? You are a uh, and away. I don't know. It does not feel good. A purse has to feel good to me. To me, that's that's what it's all about with a purse. It's got to feel good. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. Like, look at this really adorable hat. It's a Betmar. You know, the tag on the inside is easier to read. It's a Betmar, New York. Sounds a little bougie, but it's super cute. And this, I think, will sell in my space at, at the good stuff. So for $3.99, I'm going to pick it up. All right, I am going to head to the checkout. i got to figure out how I'm getting a bookshelf in to my car. I think I can. It's not that tall. Uh, so stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. very pleasant shopping experience today with a few really good goodies. I don't know why I really like that hat. I'm trying to think, where would I wear a hat like that? I don't know where I'd wear a hat like that, but I'm thinking about it. Anyway, uh, again, if you would please be so kind as to come check out the Niche Lady Critter Cam. I'm ever, ever so close to being able to monetize that and get the live webcams up that I have been promising. And again, as I said, 
something super exciting is happening next Tuesday, if all goes well, and uh, that is going to be over on that channel. So, uh, with that, I'm going to head home and get down to the store and do a little work down there and get ready for my whatnot sale tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, there will be a Friday video out. Yes, indeed, there will be a Friday video, a special one too. All right, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Our big girl is out and enjoying the sun. Hi, honey. Are you enjoying some sunshine? You just found a little pile of leaves over here and a hose. What you doing? You had a very, very long winter nap. We're so happy to see you. Okay, you enjoy your sun. And little Bubba's, Bubba's is out here soaking up some sun. I brought, I, they, I want to get down to the bottom of the lettuce. Like they really love eating off of these because it's easy because it kind of stands up. So this is a little treat. We don't feed lettuce very often because lettuce really has no nutrients. It's really just a little treat. Oh, buddy. You gonna go check it out? <laughs> oh, that's a nice tortoise stretch right there. Look at that. There he goes. And this tiny, tiny's being shy today. Why are you being shy today? You're usually not my shy boy. Come out, say hi. Why do you have a stick on your face? Let's get a stick off your face. There we go. There we go. Come and see the sunshine, buddy. Come see some sunshine. And we mustn't forget about little Priscilla, who's sitting here under her little heat lamp here. She also had a little lettuce treat this morning. Yes, I'm talking about you. Now those that uh, might remember a few videos back, she was super, super sick and we had to take her to the vets and she had to go through a course of antibiotics. But now she's doing really, really good. She's back to her old self, eating and drinking and doing what tortoises do. Oh, little mamas. Yes. You're happy tortoise now, right? Because I am busy sunning. <laughs>